Good morning, welcome to Eric Gaming. I'm Eric. This is a little ass kicker. We're playing Project Zomboid. Been six months, 14 days, 8 hours, 13,000 zombies killed, 80 kilograms. One down. Yet again, I lost the audio for this video and the next video, so I'm just narrating. I'm watching this as you are watching it, and uh, I'm just kind of articulating what I'm observing and what I'm doing. Right now, it's really loud in my headset, so I'm turning it down. We're in the neighborhood. We're in an unnamed town west of Muldraw. And the intention of what we're doing here is to get into EP Tools. And we are going to get into the farm and the gun shop, whatever you call it, and the police station. Right now, we're in a neighborhood that's in the northwest part of town. Uh, we're just clearing out the area, freeing ourselves of the zombies. And eventually, uh, we are going to want to choose one of these houses to settle down in and have a little base of operation. I've set up a little house bunker, I don't know, a little two-by-two, two. Uh, just out, out in the outskirts of town. Uh, made log walls. Forgot all the nails. Brought everything, but I forgot the nails. And, uh, yeah, so now we're just making our way into town. I have the blue tarp truck full of various guns, weapons... Uh, ammo and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get in we're not taking the town we're not clearing out the town of zombies like we did in Muldra. we're just getting resupplied I think this is the house that I'd like to take over uh, the reason for this is just because there's few windows uh, so eventually what I'd like to do is uh, get the axe out and chop down some trees and start just fortifying it And of course, I am having a spliff as I watch. Just getting the house ready. Uh, looks like we are about ready to take it over. I don't have any nails, so we're going to have to disassemble stuff in order to acquire those nails. We have some things out here to disassemble. We have, uh, or in there, we have a table, we have chairs. We're not going to use all the furniture. We don't need all the furniture. Oh yeah, we are also suffering with a broken arm. I got in an accident on the drive here. And we got a fracture on our uh, right arm. Uh, for some reason, she insists on using a weapon in the right hand. Um, if I had a broken arm, I would definitely use the left hand more. But the developers say you can't do that, therefore it's a physical impossibility. I could sure hammer well. We're just, uh, probably have enough nails to just get one on each window. I'm not gonna do a, a whole bunch. We're not gonna be here for very long. We just want to prevent the zombies from getting in. We don't need to fortify it like, let's say, we the rusty rifle. Uh, we're not doing any siren burns. We're not gonna do any, any shotgun rallies or anything like that. I think I ran out of nails. Yeah, we're gonna take down the table, probably the chair, and I think I was thinking about the round table, but I think we we'll skip that. Man, look at all of my moodles up. I'm overweight. I'm in pain. I'm injuring myself carrying such a heavy load. I'm hungry, dead tired, and I'm exhausted. Out of breath. probably be going to bed soon I don't know what I'm doing here in the bathroom trying to collect water peeing I don't know uh, looking for food I'm assuming yeah again I'm just kind of watching this I I'm a spur-of-the-moment kind of person so 
narrating and acting is not my forte. I'm not expression in it though. Or it just sounds forced. Cleaning up, lightening our load, getting all this heavy weight off of our bag, out of our bag. I am carrying a lot of items. Didn't realize I was carrying so much. We're planning on using this house, so um, I'm just kind of dumping things off. I'll probably end up using the floor a lot and just dumping shit on the floor like I do with any place. In the morning, in the morning we're going to try and uh, get into town. Maybe get some food at the burger joint. There's a pinball machine in there I'd like to get. And then uh, EP tools will probably be the first thing we we get into. With the broken arm, my aiming is just shot. So I'm wasting a lot of ammo just trying to kill with a gun. I'm going to stick with the melee. going to use the very powerful katana for a lot of the time. And I'm just getting all our guns prepped. Not getting them ready to use. I mean, to equip. Just ready to use. And I am meticulous with my inventory. I don't watch myself often. Kind of analyzing. It's weird because I'm not an organized person. Like if you saw my room, I wouldn't let you see my room. But in video games, I'm pretty freaking organized. I don't know why. It doesn't translate. I think just because I'm lazy. Um, and then, oh yeah, we're trying to go back to my vehicle. At this point in time, it's no secret I lose my vehicle all the freaking time. Uh, I think my vehicle's back here. But it's uh, actually on the other side, not the other side, but it's just past the lake. And everyone is moving to the north, northwest for some reason. Calling everybody back. Ooh. Yeah, I'm playing really sloppy. This is a batch recording, so this is all in one sitting. I don't know really how to put it, but, you know, like if you have a bad day, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was all in the same mindset, same, same play style the entire way, so I, I'm just sloppy this day. Still, still looking for my vehicle. Gotta be up by the base, huh? Up by the base? Well, here we are at the base. There's that's, that's no vehicle here. But you know what? We should probably get our bags. I mean, we're here anyway. Let's go grab our bags and take them back to the base. A good idea, Eric. Let's do that. Next, spend some energy hopping the fence. not complaining about it. It makes sense, I guess. Might be a little too much energy for my taste, opinion. Wow, the spliff is really kicking in. I think I put too much in there.
Okay, head back. Waste of energy, and we are going to start invading the town. It's a little bit of a walk back, but what am I going to do about it? I guess I'll smoke. That's a good thing. That's a thing I can do. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should do some edits here. This lady comes up and surprises us. I've got to drop the bags in order to take her out because I don't think I'm going to outrun her. I'm going to have to slow up at some point in time to get to the vehicle because I'm now realizing where the vehicle is. And it's an inev inevitability. Take that. I do like the uh, double bagging feature, holding one in each hand. The game is keeps progressively getting better. They, they, they are adding a lot of great features to the game. I remember several years ago where it was, uh, it feels like it was a real skeleton of a game now. I mean, it, it feels like an environment. It feels like an actual character. Customization. Uh, even play style, fighting style, that's the house. God, I'm a great driver. I'm gonna take out whatever is coming in. The vehicle always attracts zombies, and this place is not cleared out. I've barely even touched this this town. I do have a generator, so uh, we do have power to the place. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Yeah, more keep coming in. Even with a broken arm. Whoa. Whoa, we, we, we got saved. Even with a broken arm. The uh, katana is still forced to be reckoned with. I mean, look at that. I am an amazing fighter. Took that face clean off. Doing a perimeter check, making sure it's clear. stuff inside. I think I'm just going to drop them off. I, I really want to get into town at this point in time. I don't remember which point in time I actually get there. I'm always organizing and planning. Oh yeah, I accidentally dumped everything out, not realizing what I was doing, moving too fast. Just drop all the shit, man. You're not gonna use it. I, I'm getting impatient watching myself. Yes, wave that cursor around. Pretend like you know what you're talking about. I do want to use 223. Oh, we're not using the crossbow. 
And I've got plenty of rounds, so we might as well use that up. Yeah, I might use it primarily for long range. And with the broken arm, it, it does seem to work better than the 9mm. I don't know if it's because it's a stronger weapon. Um, or if the aiming is better. I, I really don't know. And I don't know if the game is... No, I was going to say, I don't know if you're in a crouch position you can shoot, but you can't aim or shoot in a crouch position. I mean, if your aim is better if you're in a crouch position. Just fucking grab your shit and go. Grab the coffee. Grab the coffee. Okay, so one injury healed. And the splint, the fracture is still there. Let's go ahead and reapply the splint. Don't know why we would have the option to uh, disinfect it. Yeah, I've never seen a bucket head before. At least I don't remember. N now that I say that, I think I may have. But uh, I'm just checking out, seeing if I can flip up the sides, make it look like, you know, Popeye or Gilligan. And it's funny to see myself without a mask on. For first aid purposes. So it looks like the uh, zombie got us in the right forearm. So the right forearm patch that saved our ass. No longer there and it's re been replaced with a hole. I don't have a needle. I would like to stitch that up, but we'll have to do that at a later time. I think there's jeans in there I can cut up. Oh, wait, there's a jacket. We could probably use that to get some leather. But we'll need a needle. One of the things I'd also like to get is uh, a little bit of food. Conducting some weight management. That's a nice little group. see any weapons of value. We're getting so many hunting knives. I don't know if it's a... Uh... Well, yeah, it, it seems like I'm finding just a lot of hunting knives. I don't know if they need to turn that down or if it's intentionally that high, but man, they're just all over the place. I'm not going to complain. Katana just goes through them. Can't wait to get the, the bat skill up. Since we are here, I would like to get some more storage. So if we come across any more bags, I'll, I'm going to pick them up. I do plan on being here for a couple of days. Um, I also want to think about the generator back at the base. Because the generator is still on, we have food that could potentially spoil. So we don't want to be wait too long. I'm sure we have probably about five, six days. And what is this, day two? Katanas can't be repaired. Let's drop it and get another one. Fresh katana. Oop. 
I think that's a bigger group than I thought. And they are all on to me. So I'm going to probably end up doing a little bit of pushing here. And I'm working a crowd. I'm making zombies stall up, so I create a lead. Then swing. You can even push zombies onto fallen zombies. So if there are any zombies that are on the ground and they're directly behind a zombie in front of you, you can push the zombie in front of you back a couple of feet and they'll start stepping and stomping all over the zombie on the ground, preventing that zombie from getting up. No problem. Oh, I can pour myself some coffee. It is currently 1.30 in the morning. August 9th, 2020. I'm doing this all very last minute because of the storm that happened several days ago that wiped out the audio for the batch recording of three episodes, yesterday's, today's, and tomorrow's. After that, we're back to normal. I, I promise, I swear to God. See that pushing? You gotta do the pushing. Control that crowd. If you could put a zombie where you want them, you can really take advantage of the moment that zombie is stalled and just kind of getting its bearings and going to come back at you. Because it's going to come back at you, but it just gives you a little bit of opportunity to either address another zombie or do... I think I went over this last episode. Address another zombie or do an action you otherwise couldn't if uh, the zombie were still right in front of your face. Pills were waking ourselves up. I said, I told you you should have brought that fucking coffee. Fence. I, I really want to hop the fence, but the fence is, the other side of the fence has not been cleared. Uh, I could jump over at any point in that fence, and there could very well be sitting zombies, hordes of zombies. Just sitting there waiting for me. So we have to go around the fence, and to do that we have to go through all these little fuckers. What's that, six? Seven? swing getting a little bit faster it almost feels well looks like it's getting a bit faster maybe I don't know I can't tell seven oh eight Last time I went around this fence, there was a horde right on the other side. Such an impressive bread knife you have through your torso. So yeah, in this uh, little burger joint, there's a pit ball machine I'd like to take home. And we will get it. On the way back.
kind of interested in that black truck. I don't know. Oh, I was debating whether I need to engage them, but I, pa I passed. There always seems to be a good amount in and around EP tools. This back alleyway is always a high traffic area. Back parking lot. And those guys are in the way. Another thing I'm worried about is an alarm in MP2 EP tools. Because the, ooh, 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 the uh, place is full of saturated. And the town is not huge, therefore it'll bring in pretty much the whole town down on us. Just kind of pop my head in real quick to set off an alarm. Should there be one? And there is not. Oh, another group I didn't see. And there's more in there. Couldn't tell how many were inside. Nice tracksuit. Didn't... <laughs> Not able to run away from a slow-ass zombie. Is that a different group, or did they just move? I think that's a different group. Gotta watch out for that window that uh, zombies can come in and sneak up on us. That's a slow swing. Yeah, my arm is still, definitely still affected. Ooh. Another spear. Looks like a hunting knife. Yeah, I'm just attracting everybody at this point. That's kind of a long reach. Pushing. Push. This is looking much better than it was earlier. Might even start hopping the fence a little bit. We'll see what the game brings in. It's always more zombies. <laughs> Look at that control. Keeping him off the street. Thirty-seven in the morning. I don't have to work until one. In the afternoon. <laughs> nice miss. Oh, 
open the door and shut it. I do that just to make sure it's locked. We never checked that door. It could have been unlocked, but better safe than sorry. Looking for things of immediate need. A string we can, uh, twine we can make into crossbow, or we can use the fishing line. And we can go fishing with it. Uh, we'll need small metal sheets, and we'll need normal size. Well, we should probably just collect all the metal stuff we come across. On another run. We can repair uh, vehicles with small metal sheets. And make floorboards, or metal flooring, roof. break out the second bag so I need to free up an arm therefore we are going to the machete which is one handed weapon and we can hold a secondary bag in the other uh, that's also a good technique to use with uh, a flashlight I use a lot of flashlights I've noticed a lot of people don't use flashlights flashlights are really nice especially if you get stuck out in the dark and me I kind of wake up late in the morning my character wakes up late in the morning because of uh, the restless sleeper trait and so I often get into the dusk and beyond dusk hours plus I think this game when there is lighting it does do a good job with the lighting and, and how that shades on the models and all that kind of good shit it's unfortunate that the electricity always goes out or most of the game if you live long enough is can be without electricity because uh, the light from like lamp posts at night it's actually really really nice they do a good job I don't know what I'm doing oh I was trying to shut a door more fishing line we will probably end up going fishing at some point in time finding all this fish gear Fishing gear. Just kind of mesmerized and watching. I think I'm getting a little... Yeah, I'll edit that out. So yeah, just getting basic necessities. I think we're about done. There's not much else we need. Check the bathroom, get some water. Oh yeah, there's uh, storage in here. I always forget that there's storage in here. More twine. We should probably focus on building some traps as well. Getting a lot of wood glue. That's good. going to be good for the axe. I didn't see a lot of axes when I was going through there, now that I think about it. Got a couple of machetes. Machetes do cut down trees. I'm assuming the katana does too, but I wouldn't waste a katana on a tree. Um pinball machine okay well maybe not worry about that because if I bust the glass I'm going to get stuck in the oh wait no they changed it so you walk over it um, I was thinking uh, old school mechanics I guess if you jump over the uh, one section of the table will be a non-solid but the other section will be solid along with the benches. And so once you got in, you'd be trapped. But now they've updated it to where you just kind of walk across the table. And onto the ground. Onto the floor. Unless it's a metal roof, then you're walking on a metal roof that you've placed on the ground. Why 
did these guys come from? I'm getting a little tired and sick of this shit. I just want to get in there and get settled down. Look at you. Stupid crawler. Can't even hurt me. I'd like to do a test someday and actually just let a crawler do its work. I've yet to... I don't fear the crawlers in Build 41. They just kind of caress your legs and give you a foot massage. Getting prepared to just put some uh, metal sheets on the windows. Added security. And then they won't be able to see in and then we can also add a sheet to the door. Take a sheet off one of the windows. Do I have a welding mask? Did I find one? I didn't see me grab one. I must have one. Because I do end up doing this. Grab the sheet. And that should have been the final window. No other windows in the place. So this is good and secured. Zombies can't see in. And get some sleep. You can call it a day. Yeah, I didn't have a welding mask. So maybe you don't need a mask in order to weld the windows? Why am I so... Oh, I figured it out right there. That's weird. I'm not holding it in my hand. I'm going to pour myself some water. nice. I can just sit back and smoke water, beverage, coffee and just BS. I should probably be wanting to wrap this up soon. I mean, this is an opportune time. I don't know why I haven't stopped already. But I keep on going. Okay, it looks like it's a new day. Let's get out there and stir things up. First, we'll need to grab this bag secondary for some reason. What's in it? Nothing. Well, I'm glad we have it. What the fuck am I doing? Three machetes? Okay. Seems a bit overkill. Am 
Must have forgot something. Oh, check it for more wire. And that's it. We're tapped. To the table. <laughs> Just run past her. Boy, who's not giving any fucks right now? Where the hell am I going? Yeah, I don't remember this. That, this was probably about four days ago I recorded this. Nice. <laughs> Red hat walking off, not even acknowledging my existence there. Alright, so now we are going to work past... Oh yeah, I remember. We come up across that. And I realize that's another day's battle right there. So I'm just going to kill these last couple zombies. Get off. And uh, I'm going to wrap up the episode because that... That's a little too much to handle right now. I guess I'm going to do more than the couple of zombies right there. Push. I think I realized I'm just going... Oh no, I'm killing in the street. thought I was falling back. This is the end of the episode. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.